my way to the gym now i wanted to talk about something that's been on my heart a little bit lately just um i don't know life has been shifting and i'm just i am just embracing the wave i'm i'm not fighting with the current i'm not trying to swim opposite or in opposite directions i am just riding the wave of the transition in life right now and there's so much power in doing that but then there's also so much um, trepidation and fear right because i am not trying to control anything i keep saying that right and that's been the theme all year and i notice when i do that here's the thing I notice sometimes where I'll be trying to control the narrative. Like, it's still in me. That I don't know. That's just something I'm just going to have to battle with. Um, but I notice where things will start moving weird, right? And then I'll feel some level of resistance and a little bit of a tinge of hurt, a tinge of anxiety, a tinge of sadness. And then I go back now and I realize, huh, that's because you did this. This is what you did. You created this moment, right? And I'm, I'm experiencing that right now. This is about like reaching out to someone to be of support to them. And that wasn't from God. That was from my own, that was from my own perspective of what I should be doing. And with with these efforts of reaching out and being of support and of encouragement to someone who I've made a decision or I've known that God has told me like this is not good for you um like this relationship is not healthy for you this is not healthy like you know it's just not healthy it's not a healthy it's not a healthy space for you and there's nothing wrong with the person or me it's just more so the seasons of life we are in it's just not a healthy relationship to be a part of, right? So I distanced myself from the situation months ago. And then I don't know, things just kind of resurfaced recently because um, I don't know, I just wanted to be of a support. I wanted to kind of just reach out a little bit just to say, hey, keep going keep doing what you're doing all the good things and then it kind of slowly snowballed into something that it it shouldn't have been right and then like so now we're at the space where it's a realization like no girl no 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 you were right the first time your intuition was right you made the right decisions you can't feel like because you made a decision for yourself and for your mental health to you can't feel like that was a bad decision and who told you to reach back out and check on them that's not your role god got that let god do what he doing don't be like deciding on your own that you're gonna um you're going to be like a support system to this person God got that person. You know what I'm saying? God has you. God got that person. So nobody told you to do that. So with that, it kind of snowballed into... It snowballed into... Honestly, feelings that, you know, are not healthy. So it's just... I am just kind of... I don't know. It was kind of like a little tap. God gave me a little tap. Like, okay, girl, no, stop. Stop. You forgot that you've learned this lesson. You've been through this lesson. We've, we've prayed about this. I've answered you. You made a decision. You cannot go back on the decision and what I've called you to not do because you feel some type of way and you want to be a support to someone else because in the in the midst of you attempting to be that support for another person which is not a bad thing but that's not your role that's not what i asked you to do i didn't ask you to do that you took it upon yourself to do that and now you are going to experience whatever hurt feelings you have because you, you put your you put your you put yourself in a situation i didn't call you to put yourself in so 
no more of that and it's not i mean it's not a bad thing nothing crazy happened but it's more so like a tap a chin check because listen 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 follow the words i got something on my shirt yeah follow the wisdom follow god listen to him and what he is telling you to do instead of doing things all willy-nilly on your own that's the message for me this morning so i prayed on it because i had i had like a i had a weekend where i was sad again like there was a there was an in, there was an incident in my life right where it's kind of like i knew i should not have been getting uh emotionally attached to someone and it just it kind of happened out of nowhere honestly just but it's just like i feel like when you when you talk to people and you connect with people if you really connect with good like really good hearted people um I, and you're good hearted and y'all are both ambitious and y'all are both doing y'all thing and y'all are both like all of these similarities and stuff I feel like it's kind of hard not to get attached I feel like it's hard not to catch some type of feelings that's human that's why in all relationships in all things you should be praying to god for counsel and wisdom as opposed to thinking you got it because most times you don't got it without god's guidance right but it's just a it's just a, a, a chin check nothing crazy nothing debilitating so but just food for thought for me like no you, you can't you you can't like you are a woman you have feelings you have emotions and you cannot be just tied and connected to anybody. And not to say that this person is anybody, right? He's a good person, right? He's a really good person. But no, can you like that's not where you're supposed to be. You're not supposed to be giving energy into that situation. God got that. Just like God got you, right? So be still. Be still. You you like you were directed months ago on what to do with this specific situation and to give it distance and space and you did that but then you want to go back and check in to make sure he's good and to make sure everything is good and just to be your your um nice self but you cannot do that you can be nice from a distance you can be nice and pray for this person from afar but y'all cannot be connected y'all cannot be connected that's it's just this is not the season for that so this is just a conversation with myself because i have i have had a a weekend where i had time to reflect and think about some things and it bothers me but it's just like the way my brain is wired at this point, this is good. This is a good lesson because the way my brain is wired at this point, I am so in tune with my feelings. Like I have never been this in tune with my emotions and my feelings. I don't know if I've ever been, to be honest with you. And I feel like when you are in tune with your feelings, when things don't feel right, you can feel it. You can sense it, right? When things are going to go left, you see that corner, right? But if you're detached, you don't see it until you're in it. And it's like you're smack in it. You're in the middle of something. And it's like other things have happened around it that you're going to have to dig yourself out of. But when you're in tune with your feelings, when you have a, a close relationship with God, you still might veer left sometimes. But it's like it's like hydroplaning right so you're driving and like you have control over the wheel and then all of a sudden you don't and you swerve but you get right back on course that's how i feel right now i feel like i had a temporary hydroplaning moment i didn't fall off a cliff which i would have done in the past i would i didn't fall off a cliff but I had a like a little swervy moment where it's like, oh no, we're back on target. So I don't know. It's still very helpful to be in tune and in touch with your feelings. This was a small 
uh, learning lesson. Um, and I just realized how emotionally in tune I am, how how sensitive I am to that, to the to the things that I would not have paid attention to before. So we're gonna use this week, last week, as a lesson, a guiding and a tool and a lesson for growth, and to know that it's okay. I am I'm trying to puff my puff up. I am imperfect, so sometimes I'm gonna forget the lessons that I try to teach myself and that I try to I try to I try to preach on my my channel. I am imperfect. I am a work in progress. I am human, right? And that's okay. And that's okay, you know. So we move forward. Um, we keep people in prayer, but it's okay if you cannot be closely connected to someone or have a relationship with someone even if they're a good person that doesn't mean they, they're supposed to be permanently in your life right so support from a distance a far away distance <laughs> um and just keep moving and keep doing the things you're supposed to be doing and everything that you want will come to fruition like but this is not it this is not that season this is not that season and we have to do things that work best for us in the season that we are in because I know there are things that I want out of life that have not come to fruition yet but if I steer if I if I continue on this course in this path everything I want will come and this is a message for you too if you feel discouraged if you feel like when is it going to be my turn it's coming you just got to work on you you gotta work on you like if you are in a single season and you feel lonely Cochina did a um she did an um she did a a video on this on saturday and it was really really good i'm um, talking about lonely being feeling lonely in your single se season i don't necessarily feel i don't feel lonely in my single season but i feel like i have i don't know i feel like I'm good in terms of all of the things I have going on and I love the, the the mental headspace that I'm in in terms of how I feel about myself how I feel about my purpose I've never been this excited about life before this is this has never been me I've I have never I have not known what I was here for and now that I know what my purpose is <clears throat> I'm very determined to get at it. It's just like, it's all in my brain. So that part is irreplaceable. That part is uh, priceless, right? But then you also have these moments where you feel lonely. And honestly, I haven't been feeling lonely. I just feel like because I had this person in my space um, that I, that you know, I was trying to be friends with. I don't even know if you could be friends with uh, males. Um, that were not your friends from childhood. I don't know if you could do it. Well, I mean, I don't know if you're not attracted to them or if emotionally you're not attracted to them. Maybe you could. I don't know. But I feel like at some point there's one person that's going to catch feelings, right? There's at least one person that's going to catch feelings, right? So I don't know. I wasn't necessarily feeling lonely. So I can't even say I was feeling lonely. I've been feeling amazing. But I just think this person's energy is so is so phenomenal. I've never so far in life um with the men that I have dealt with, I have never witnessed this in a male. Not not in my family. Not at all. Not in my relation not in my intimate relationships. So it was just refreshing to be around the energy of a person or a man that is like doing things like just healthy, mentally healthy and to an extent, like we all have things we work on, but healthy in a, in a sense, like mentally healthy, working on himself, working on his emotions in tune with his feelings, productive, educated, um, sensitive, nice like you know like i i don't know if i've ever met a man like that right and i feel like this pseudo friendship that we had built or were building i feel like i didn't anticipate that he would be the way he is but 
that's good because for me the lesson in this is one you can't be just everybody's friend that that you can't do that however two also you there are they do exist like they're out there i don't know if it's a whole bunch of them now like they're not just coming out the woodwork right but they out they are out there they're out there so that gives me hope like i am not ready to be in a relationship i can honestly say i am not ready i have too many things that i need to accomplish and relationships take work relationships take a lot of your time and i just don't have that level of time to to have a healthy relationship in this season i don't and that's a part of it too like this is not my season to be in a relationship i need to work on myself i need to work on my physical so when i do get into a relationship we can go to the gym together we can eat healthy together we'll both be in tune with that right i'm not there yet i'm still struggling with that um i'm working on it i'm getting better at it but i'm still struggling with that so i need to focus on that i just figured out what i'm supposed to be doing in this life at 40 maybe at 39 i don't know like i just figured out this is what you should be doing actually no 39 like the, the week before my birthday i just figured out what i should be doing and i have to get at that i have i have things i need to accomplish i have things i need to produce for the world to see and witness i have um spaces that i need to be in that i need to connect with people i need to just put my stamp in this world right now that's what this season is for but god is so good because god is like i need you to see that what you want exists in this world like they are out there and when it is your time that will come i will give that to you but i needed you to see it but i don't need you to keep trying to go back and be friends with people like no y'all not y'all cannot be friends y'all cannot be cool y'all cannot be cool no no that the answer is no but you can support from a distance so that's where we are now we're in a space me where i'm just like okay god i, I hear you so it was a lesson it was a little mini lesson that i needed and it was something that I needed to see and I needed to be aware of and I'm very grateful for the learning experience and now what do we do we move on you know we move on and we continue to grow and we continue to work on ourselves and I am babbling in the car and I should be in the gym so I'm gonna go into the gym now but I just had to get that off my chest because it was like something that was that was in my soul this weekend see this is this is why and God brings people in your life when you need them. Because I think that happened for me to see that good, good, good quality men do exist in this world. And I am a good quality woman. And I will, I will, I will be able to attract a good quality man, right? At some point in life, when it's my time, when it's my time, um, they do exist, right? So just keep working on me. But also, um, the way I say God is good is because... My YouTube people, they got me. Coachina did a whole, I was working. I went to work on Saturday um, and I was in my feelings a little bit. Cause this is like part two of like, okay, y'all really cannot be friends. Like y'all cannot be cool. This is not gonna work. And I was sad, right? I was sad cause I'm emotional, I'm sensitive. I'm, you know, whatever, I'm normal, I'm human. And Coachina did a video on or do you feel lonely in your single season? And I'm like, I don't really feel lonely. But it resonated in the sense of how I was feeling in that moment again. So, I don't know. It's just like the angels. The angels are all around surrounding me, right? They're all around surrounding me. And somebody's looking at me. Because he thinks I'm crazy. I'm talking to myself. But the angels are all around surrounding me. And God has my back. As long as I listen. So I'm listening. I heard you. I'm listening. That's all I got. I hope this. I I feel like I was rambling and babbling and all kinds of shenanigans, but the message is this. The message is this: love yourself, work on you, follow God for guidance and support, and you will get everything that you want. Just be honest and true in, in your heart. Be honest with yourself. Be honest about what you want. Be honest about your needs. Be honest about your wants. Be honest about how you want your life to go. 
and God, God has your back. It's just, you have to do the work. And some things come before others. There are steps to this. Rome wasn't built in a day. You just got to work on it constantly. Be the best and continue to be the best version of yourself. Continue to practice self-love and self-care. Just keep working on you. Keep loving on you. And pray about stuff. That's all I got right now. I hope that helps somebody. I don't know. I don't think the message was that clear today. But hopefully it helps someone. The vulnerability helps someone. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and stop procrastinating and get in here at 645. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.